in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Okay. Chapter 3 now. We can start. Please and thank you. Wait, why do we have the bunny rabbit? Kate! Kate lived! I guess maybe she went home and couldn't take the rabbit? She's probably not at school anymore. In the hospital and all that. Maybe that's what we're doing. She was in the hospital at the end of the last one. You so... Chloe would be all over this. Yeah. So I better get moving. So we're probably watching the rabbit while she's in the hospital. <sighs> What's this? Oh, First my plant. I Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. I named the plant. Feed the rabbit. Hungry bunny. Here, nosh on this. Then you rabbit. Hey, bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Leave some light for the rabbit. Um. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Uh, authorities confirm that the student Kate Marsh 18 has been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student taking Marsh down to safety. 
click here for video footage and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Uh, Evan Harris, Taylor Christensen, Victoria Meredith Chase, Mark Burrington, Courtney Wagner, Zach Riggins, and Father Lamont. I don't recognize most of those. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Actually made me proud to be at Blackwood. Bravo, Max. Max Power. Watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Your hero, Max. Way to make the headlines. Epic. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, at least people are being nice right now. I talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Um... You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Yeah, maybe it's just me, but nobody in that photograph looks at all happy to be in it. <laughs> Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Um, I don't even know what day of the week it is. I think it's gonna be Wednesday? I don't know. Alright, I'm just making sure there's nothing I'm missing in my room. Doesn't look like there is. I wanted to make... Let's see, what are these? Have something to show you? Meet me in front of campus. Uh... And to remind you how awesome you were with Kate on the Roof, make you a superhero suit on the Labs 3D printer. And you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to a planet of apes. Call me. Okay. Good enough. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh, that doesn't help. I mean, it kind of does, but... Oh, good. It's going to be the creepy chapter today. Barricade tape? Is this Kate's room? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Yes, very much so. But with any luck, they mean it, and there are going to be less, you know, asshole. Hey, Max? Come here. Hi. Hey, How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Um, we're all responsible? I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Uh, where was everybody? That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Mm. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Hang on a minute. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. I kind of want to see. She was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. 
Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Um. That's all you know? That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I have a fucking headache now. <laughs> so please, let me crash. Okay, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I feel like I'm supposed to get more out of this conversation. It sort of feels like it's setting me up to have that discussion, but... Um... Maybe Victoria this time? Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. So what are you saying, <laughs> Shit. Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Yeah. Wait. Okay, I got, like, the noise that I think means that action will have consequences. I don't know that I want to have those consequences, though. I don't really... I'm sort of against the whole revenge thing. That's not really what I want to do. Better than okay. Um, we're going to go back with the she was depressed I one. She must be but this time I'm going to go, why was she on the roof? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on. You really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Um. Yeah, we'll go with that one. It's complicated. I'm getting. What? Victoria. Then we no. find out Victoria. Okay, that's. I'm better with that. That I'm happy with how that conversation Victoria went. Here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Um, wait, so I'm sp what what? Oh, which of these rooms is hers? Am I actually supposed to be going into Victoria's room? Okay, seriously, does nobody lock their freaking door? I would not be Since leaving my crap open. Snoop to detective. I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Um... I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Oh yeah, that's the paint all over it, her. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Um. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. 30 bucks from a cashmere? That seems like a pretty decent deal for cleaning a bunch of paint off of a cashmere sweater. I would expect way more than 30 bucks. Wait, was there more in that that I... That's a lot of Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Okay. Well, uh, Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? Can't believe we all saw it live. 
It's like watching a reality show and I've never seen the campus so quiet, like everyone's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Huh. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. <laughs> Let's see. From Nathan to Victoria, Max Cockfield got fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. Oh, Max Cock got me fucking suspended. Uh, my parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me ripping him? Repping him. Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down, and the end of the world party is fucking on you in. Um, I knew that Max was troubled first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person hang there. Is there going to be some actual, like, people are doing weird stuff to cause the whole tornado ripping the town to pieces First thing? Rachel and now Kate, this is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. I thought we were looking for evidence, but we're really not finding much here. Victoria is about as straight as me. <sighs> Nothing to see here. Those boots are made for walking runways. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Alright, well, I guess that's all we we're gonna find in here. Yeah, we looked through everything and we found nothing. All right, well, we killed time by looking through her stuff. Uh, what's it say? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Oh, okay. Blake for Kate Marsh. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? All right, that's missing persons posters, but beyond that, I don't think there's much else. We'll wait for Kate. Who's that say? Brooke? Yeah, slash Brooke. Did she have anything on hers? Wherever you go, there I am. Okay. And we saw all the ones from her. Oh. Looks like maybe someone is in the shower. The Hold a thought. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, so that was what the, the noise was. It was me learning that Kate had snuck out. Thus opening up that um, conversation option. Okay, Juliet, waiting for you, Kate. Uh, no money, no power. Eh. Stella, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Um, praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Yeah, it does feel pretty hypocritical. So 
Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Is there a reason for me to sit on the bench? Oh, she sums up her thoughts when you do this, doesn't she? So yeah. Giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Can I go photograph this squirrel? Because I kind of want to photograph the squirrel. Don't run away, squirrel. I want to photograph you. Please? Hi, squirrel. Nope, I can't do anything with the squirrel. Totem. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Uh, Max? I'm on my way. I'm just strolling through campus. Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Um, Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would have just skipped town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. He drunk. Definitely drinking. There's a bottle next to him. There was an option to look at him. That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Okay. Uh, how do I get around him then? If I just move fast enough, is that going to be what I need? Whoa, yep. Yeah. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah. Max the ninja strikes again. Why won't they fit? These keys are all broken. Maybe it's me? Yeah, it's you. You're drunk. <sighs> Can't necessarily blame you. After the day you've had, but, uh, yeah, you're drunk. Oh, Jesus, hi. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to fight me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. No pressure or anything. We need to connect the blades. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. 
Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? <laughs> we need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert grown here. Okay, so I have keys to the whole campus now, apparently. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. Ugh. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, you are way worse than I thought you were. <laughs> Yep. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Find out what exactly? I guess we're gonna go look at her portfolio. Find out maybe what the two of them were doing late at night. Cause yeah, I'm. I'm hoping Mr. Jefferson's a mostly on the up and up guy. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted, like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Yes, on. we have power, we can still rewind. But it's not unlimited power. If you push too hard, we'll probably burn out of it. Alright, so here's the receptionist area. see anything in here. Am I supposed to talk to you or something? Yes. That's it. What the 
fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Why would he keep the key outside of the receptionist area? That doesn't seem any more secure than letting the head of security have it. Most of these are probably just going to be more and more files. Dead end. Boring. Okay, you're not even looking. If he was going to put a key in a file drawer, it would be stashed inside one of the files. Hunting hat? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Oh, key rack. Where are the keys? None for the principal's office. No key for thee. Shocker. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. It does? Hey, Warren. You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. No, you're not. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Ah, Yay, Warren. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? We need to go to the science lab. Can go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, so what do I need? What in the hell? Sodium chloride, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. So it looks like sugar. Um, the green one is the chloride, I'm guessing. And then we need... It's like a thermos and duct tape, then wrap the duct tape around the thermos, put the whole thing to get... I'm making a bomb? Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I mean, I suppose that's one way to get into a door. Oh, shoot. Which one of these was the science lab? I think it's this one? Science class. But this door's not locked. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. An A minus? Alright, alright. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Okay, I needed sugar. Ooh, sugar. And along with the sugar, we're gonna need. To go. Um he had a bunch of this sodium stuff here earlier, but I'm thinking maybe not. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Okay, so if we can find weed killer, we can get it. Or we can, I guess, look for the actual stuff, maybe? I don't know. Um, I also need access to, like, a thermos. Oh, weed killer. That makes things easier. Here's the sodium chloride box. <laughs> How many weed killers do you know of? I'm too short for this, aren't I? You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Yep. Um. How many weed killers do you know of that actually put NaCl? You're halfway home, Max. Did that actually say NaCl on it? Still there? Did you blow up, Max? Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. Need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. 
Oh, I think it says NaClO3. Because NaCl is just table salt. It's sodium chloride. Warren and Alyssa, 2013? Huh. Um, Alright, so I still need to find a thermos and duct tape. I don't know if I'll find everything I need just in the science room, but at least we've got the... Uh... Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Okay. Good evening, fish fish. I mean, in theory, we could even take the photograph of the aquarium. And then rewind time and they would never know. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Can I turn it off now? Please resume your slumber. Thank you. Because I don't want to uh, leave evidence that I was here other than, I guess, blowing open the door. I never said they were great, troll. Man, why is everybody so anti me? I'm just a quiet kid. Periodic table diagrams, exam files. I think I might need to start looking. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Ass biology. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta find a friggin' thermos and duct tape. And I just don't feel like I'm gonna find those in here. I think I've pretty well searched through the science lab. I didn't come through here, but this is just another way out, I think. Yep. Okay, so we're good there. That's fine. I mean, we can check in the art class, I guess. This is like a scene in a horror film. Uh, okay. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Ooh, context pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Pretty easily when she's a bitch. <laughs> um. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Looking for tape. Looking for tape. Who the hell has cigarettes? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Ah. Um, hey, I see a duct tape, thank you. The tape is mine. I just gotta find the... Only one more ingredient left. Uh huh. More duct tape. I need to find a canister. I need to find a thermos. I need to find I probably should something. find those items now. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not wandering around this school for fun in the middle of the night. Um. Empty. Come on. Nothing. This is so lame. Seems like maybe that's the way to go, though. May as well give it a shot. That's the other door to the art class, I think. Yeah, it would make sense. Nothing here. I'm gonna just keep checking garbage cans on the way. I mean, why not? Gross. Um. 
Release the Kraken. It's all mine anyway. Oh, there we go. Soda can works. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. So we... All right, I'm going to look at his instructions again real fast here. Wait, mom. Seven... Thanks for letting me... So proud of you for saving this girl, and we want you to know... We want to know how you are, so please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, mom, I'll call you in a few minutes. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackpool hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud to milk this moment. Or, so, we're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want us to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Aw, that's nice. Um, number... Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Yeah, you're just a peach. Okay, Warren. Um... So, get everything together... Sort of looks like I'm supposed to... Okay, we'll figure it out. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes. Oh, did I already... Okay, out. I guess I manufactured it myself. I thought they were going to make if me do it. light the candle? This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. Yeah, this is going to make a hell of a bang. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? First of all, you should get out of my way. We should see if we can find the key, really. Uh, okay, this is a total waste. There's nothing in here for me to examine. All right. Oh, wait. What? Ha 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 ha! Welcome to my domain. Oh, there we go. Magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Okay. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy Thor crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Since I keep my position when I rewind, if I'm on the other side, it works. Okay. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a black woman. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anyway, you could help. I'm on the case. Alright, see what we can find here. Um, I probably need to turn on the lamp so I can see. There we go. Oop, from Warren. Blow the lock. Oh, please, I just want to see if you knew your explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. In a manner of speaking, yes, and it worked very well. Kate, shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Okay, let's see here. Student information. Jesus, 3.9 GPA. Nice. Represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News. And her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Uh, as the school nurse, I should inform that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berenci. 
Uh, at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. That's not searching. Tumbleweeds. How about this one? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the out recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. What a dick. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. GPA 3.7, Nathan Prescott continues his family legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Is also popular with students and faculty, stands as a proud representation of like Blackwell. I'm not going to read my own personal file. 2.8? Okay, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she's acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back her back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. This is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Uh, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell Security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there's an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. 3.9 is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations. Yeah. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0 GPA, wow. Considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues toward his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Bingo. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay, unfortunately, Rachel, yeah, yeah. Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with either students or faculty. Uh, her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Quintessential student representation at Blackwell Academy excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous, popular with both students and faculty. She has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her design, uh, all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Looks like she's got a 4.0 GPA back there. Uh, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay PD. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. 1.7 GPA, problematic student despite the best efforts of faculty and administration. Does little homework, is often willfully belligerent to her teachers, has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students, was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Uh, is no longer a student at Blackwell, see attached police reports. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. 
Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money! Oh, shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. The, the handicapped fund. <laughs> the... Leave it. I just don't know what the handicap fund is for, but it kind of feels like that's something we shouldn't be taking from. But why would he be leaving? So here's the problem that I have with that. It's in a cash envelope marked handicapped fund. But it's just cash stored in his desk, and you don't do that with money. If you have legitimate money, you track it. It's recorded. It's deposited. It's a check. It's into the bank. You don't hold on to $5,000 in cash just in your desk. Ah, I hate decisions like this. All right, take it. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. Okay. I feel like shit for taking that money. Disciplinary warning report for Mr. and Mrs. Prescott. I regret to inform that Nathan has been disrupted, or has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday. Was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Uh, has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Um, received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from someone in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain that this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. God, they are the worst. 
Following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations, followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule, um, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel's been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Huh. Okay. What's the letter? If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my duty to inform you... Your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is my, not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in the school's operation. I must have missed that. It must have just been like in chapter one and I didn't talk to her when I could have because I never heard about the petition until after it was apparently too late. Um, okay. You're not so tacky up close. All right. Leave the school building. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> okay. Not where I thought this night was gonna go, but... heated water we still have to play it cool okay i still go to school here you can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power chloe is so psyched for girls night out so i better follow her evil plan had for lost goggles all right let's take a look i want to look at this one up here that i can't read if only I could solve the mystery of the missing tactics. Stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. Need this for class. My tablet has private pics of my late cats, so I will pay for pay a cash reward. No questions asked. Planet Earth. Lost goggles. Yep. Yeah, okay. Anything else I can look at in here? Trophies. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Boys or girls. Uh, girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Random sock. Where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh, I don't want to die. I feel bad snooping on some of these people. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. See, that's fine. I don't care about that. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Okay, that one's Kate's locker, I think they said. Okay, see, this is one that I'd want to snoop in, because... So, Victoria's secret is selfie. Ha! She does it too. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. 
These are cool shots. Very big minded of you. Okay, otters eat beavers. <clears throat> Weed? Was Chloe here? Uh, okay, whatever. Um, what's this say? Girls can swim too. Join the girls swim team or something like that, I'd wager. Okay. Uh, dear Kate, I don't care. God, Jesus. Well, we care, dickhead. Victoria Chase rules. Well, that's definitely not conclusive. Missing persons posters. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Ha <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Um. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. I would think right here. Whoa. There we go. Did you bring your bathing suit or did you just strip down? Time to do or dive, Max. Okay. Um I feel like I'm probably in the, yep, this is definitely the boys room now. Victoria loves the D, ugh. Huh, oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max is a feminazi. I heart Warren gay room. God, these guys are. Welcome to 1950. Uh, let's see what else we got here. No worries, it's all bad. It's in Logan's locker. This Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. Okay. Um, random I guess jacket. Forgot their Blackwell spirit. I mean, I'm already here. I may as well take a look. E cigs. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? All right, so Nathan's definitely got some stuff going on. Cell phone. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot, what are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? I like Warren. He's a goof. Alright, uh, I found everything I needed to know from here. Let's try and... What am I doing here anyway? Dana needs a baby daddy? God. She said time to do or dive. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. <sighs> Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. There you go. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. 
<laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> She's a lot more relaxed I than I thought here. an episode called Chaos Theory, Theory was going to be. Being in here tonight. <clears throat> Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have or discovered your power, right? Uh, sure. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. <laughs> You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Fair. You're the bro killer? Gross, Warren is nice. Um. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I mean, we saw towels in the locker room. Probably should have grabbed a couple of those before we jumped in, but, you know, whatever. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. <laughs> you would know. Uh-oh. Hi! It's go time. That's really not good. Hide, like when we were kids. Where? I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Definitely both. Um. Hello. I don't know where the hell we're gonna hide, though. Big fan of the fact that these stalls They're seem to go all the way down to the floor. Oh no, they don't. Serious. Maybe? Or do they? Yeah, they do. They go all the way to the floor. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> we are so invisible. Let's bail. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Now. I did not think that was going to work. 
thought for sure he was gonna march down that line and just start shining his flashlight in the stalls. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. <sighs> I would like to point out that your car is not reliable and is very recognizable. Okay, I think we got out. Maybe. I hope we got out. Without getting, you know, suspended. <sighs> that was fun. And I'm guessing we're gonna go through his garage files now. Oh yeah, but um, we should remember to like erase the tapes. Because this guy's got cameras pointed everywhere in the house, remember? So if he looks at any of those tapes, he's gonna know that we were out around the time he was looking for people and also that we came back at that time and that I was there with her, it's bad news. Time to wake up. Of course we're taking a selfie. <clears throat> Photo bomb. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since, since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I just want to get a view of some of the room here. I guess I could do that if I got up, but this is such a nice scene. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Time to get up. <sighs> okay, I need to get dressed now. Um, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Okay. Um, are my clothes somewhere obvious, or I guess I'm just going through stuff? I don't think I'll be blushing today. Is 
I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Looks pretty beat to hell. And then bills. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. Where the hell is clothes? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Oh, there we go. Clothes. Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Fashion hole? Okay. Is this the fashion hole? Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? That feels a little leading, but okay. Kiss me now. Sure, fuck it. <clears throat> there you go. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. No, she did not. Which is why I did it, because it makes it funnier. <laughs> And honestly, I kind of like them together. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's wake and bake. Got to it. Find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <sighs> oh, that thought. Uh, Max, thank you from the bottom of my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe that you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. He'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, I promise. It's like Aww. when we were kids here. Go downstairs. Hi, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Who oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Ah, uh, eggs and bacon. I'm an eggs, eggs and, bacon and bacon person. All the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Okay. I can that's handle eggs and bacon. Easy. Uh, I think that's at eggs. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. And then I'd imagine that the bacon is hopefully in the refrigerator. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. Here you go. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. 
She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Uh -huh. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but... I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. You know, though, I, I've thought about that a lot recently. And the perspective of time as you're growing up is kind of a funny thing. You know, you go from being... What was I doing? Did she tell me to sit at the table? I think that was what I was supposed to do. Um, I want to take a quick look around, though. Uh, like, she talks about it being five years ago. Can you help me get this bird out of here? What? Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost okay. done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Anyway, the gap between, like, thir five years ago for an 18-year-old is when you're 13, and 13 and 18 do feel miles apart. But now that I'm 30, and I think back to when I was, like, 21, that doesn't feel that long ago, even though it was nine years ago. <laughs> So it's just kind of interesting to sort of think back in perspective of how it all works. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Super heroine save suicidal Blackwell student. That's the one she didn't want to be famous for. <gasps> Yay, breakfast. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> I like her. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I guess nobody waters the plant here. What are we looking for? I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Eh, I kind of like both. What the hell am I doing? Am I supposed to get up now? Nope, I'm just looking around. You again? Oh, she's getting a photo album. Oh, okay. Made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. No, no, he's not. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. 
This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> Hi. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Jesus, take it easy. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Alright. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Okay, we gotta figure out a password. Password, password, password. All right, well, start checking stuff. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. You could, but that doesn't doesn't seem likely. I mean, okay, but family, stepdad. Worst hacker ever. Yeah, I didn't really think that was gonna work. Nothing to see here. I would think it'd probably be related to something in his military service or maybe a word like security or Nothing something. It's a Naturally, padlock. David would buy a heavy I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Uh no. Why would you make a password for a computer the same as the password for your computer? Or for, as a padlock. I could try the license number for the password. The license number seems more likely, but even that's... Hmm. Maybe this ID number might work. Alright, let's give a couple of these a shot here. Uh, army. Oh, shit balls. Okay. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Well, that's easy to fix. If we just go all the way back. Okay. Personal. Um, this one. Such wrong. Uh, personal seven one seven one. Nope. No way, Max. You yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go all the way back, huh? Okay. Book. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Okay. Um. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Plate. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. You're picking at some really weird stuff here. Lots of numbers and dates. I'm not really thinking like that would be the correct place. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. 
an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. It might be a useful password. What, the date? Or Joyce, maybe? Joyce actually might be a good password. All right, uh, family. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's try this one. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. All right. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Uh, Rachel's been coming to class all week. Okay, Rachel, Rachel Amber profile. Rachel's been coming to class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Um, Arcadia Bay Police Report. Incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 235 at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious, suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate is... Doesn't he have one? Or does he just have the mustache? Kate is kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Rimini, he has my class schedule. Uh, Max Holman alias is Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Ancient. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, this is fucking creepy. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Hey, Max, I want to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks, Taylor. I know you care, too. If you're going to the party, I'd love to style you up if you want. If I do go, I would love to get a Taylor makeover. Talk soon. See, people are coming around. Oh, crap. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Jesus, dude, take it you easy. Know for sure it was Blackwell students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Okay. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <sighs> yeah, I gotta side with Chloe on this one. <laughs> You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? Mm. What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. 
I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, no, 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 you don't get to blame me for that. You're the one who's keeping surveillance files. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yes, very much so. Thank you. This is one of those cases of the ends do not justify the means. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Not planning on it. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. <laughs> Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key. What? And, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Good plan. Now you were about the dog. Quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Look at all these Save flyers. our bay. Okay. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Uh, let's see. Dad says, Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. <clears throat> I have no doubt sending you to Blackwell is the best thing that you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door's wide open. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Okay. Frank's keys. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Okay. Oh, what can I do here? Um, You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Gotta be some way to figure this out. Kate should have jumped. God, these people are the worst. Hi, Frank. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? 
Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. All right, we're going to rewind past that conversation so that it never happened, because I might need to come back and have it with him again, and I don't want to have to rewind through two conversations to get to it. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Um... <clears throat> I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, um... There she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was... Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you're... Um, next. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? <laughs> I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to go back. Because, again, if I have to go back through previous uh, conversations, I don't want to have to rewind through two of them. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweed bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. You didn't get expelled, you got suspended. Considering diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Wow, you are a thoroughly unpleasant human being. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. And done. It's like this conversation never happened. Okay, skip that. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. That's not how that was supposed to go either. I didn't mean to skip everything. Come on, back, 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 back. Thank you. Okay, and talk. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? <sighs> 
Apparently I'm not done getting information. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Ooh. <laughs> Um. All right, so that's all there was to that. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm going to kill you. All right, so that's all there is to that. Doesn't actually get me anywhere. All right, let's go back and talk to Nathan some more. Rachel. All right. Um. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Come on. Why does it slow down so much? There we go. Alright, let's see if that's enough to get me anything out of Frank. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Yoink. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. And goodbye. This conversation never happened. And I still have your keys. Now back to Chloe. Okay, got the keys. Is that who I think it is? Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Yep, no problem. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the road. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fuck up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. I like the way you think. Okay. I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Ew. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw towards the road or into the parking parking lot. I don't want to kill the dog. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. So let's get moving.
Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Okay, I feel like we don't have unlimited time here, so let's cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Try to make this quick. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay. Well, let's see what we can find. Um, you scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Given the nature of what we're looking for, I kind of figured this is, is a good Frank place to start. To online now? Oops, guy Frank to web is almost business. a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Uh, I don't feel like that should be too hard to locate. Ooh, Frank's stash. Yeah, let's not steal all of his weed. Thank you. Um, prescription pills, blowtorch, graffiti. A crappy wife out here. Let's take it. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Prescription pills. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Looks like a culinary torch. That's Rough. almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay. How can somebody live like this? Yeah, that would drive me nuts. Um. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. All right, that would probably work this for prying the vent off. A set of keys. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. All right, let's see what we can find in My here. Blade will open any portal. Or break the knife. Okay, what do we got? Looks like a. Passport? It's probably not a passport. Oh, that's way bigger than I oh, thought it was. Man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompidou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You are one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about a you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Well, that seems fairly conclusive. Chloe's not going to like it. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! You have issues. Uh. 
So now he's seen you leaving the parking lot right before his keys go missing and his dog is outside. And all the stuff in his apartment, his car has moved around. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Um... So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Man, Chloe, you got issues. possible that not everyone is leaving you? Really hard to stay close when you keep pushing everyone else away. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Oh my god. New power? What is happening now? New power. Reliving memories going back in time, sort of. I doubt we could change the events of the past. Okay, use L and R to focus on the photo. There we go. Whoa. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crap. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. This is freaking weird. How many eggs? Mom said it depends. I know I've seen those pictures before. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. What a right. mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Your mom's away. 
So what's about to happen here? Are we gonna actually be able to save her dad? Which I'm sure will have a mass of wide-reaching consequences. I know they never took that big vacation. DVDs. That's gonna be Joyce. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. Joyce loves William so much. So proud of your promotion. You get a week of Two Whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Uh-huh. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. Where the hell are the keys? He's looking for them. I can see where he finds them and then grab them. Yeah, I can still rewind, so. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. No? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I need to grab the keys, but it won't let me grab them. Okay, maybe I needed to wait a little longer for him to find them and then actually have it trigger something. I think maybe I just rewound prematurely. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No, 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 no. Why are you stopping? There we go. Back, 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 back. Going all the way back. There we go. Cap. Score. Keys. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. That's a cool snow dough. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now Hide I keys. Used to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Oh, oh, nice. Shit, my keys? So now I can put a mark down there that will theoretically still be there when I'm older and I can somehow use that. Don't know where the keys are. And you know, you don't necessarily have to stop him from taking the car at all. You just have to delay him. You're bankrupting me. Just have to delay him long enough that whatever it was doesn't happen. Crap! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max want. God damn it! If I have to stop him from taking the car, I have to try again. <laughs> Where did I hide the keys? In the jar, right? Yeah, okay. Just now I still have the keys. With Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two uh, but I can't destroy them. Okay, draw on this first. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Let's look. Uh, I don't know. Excuse books, me, brochures. Go rescue yonder queen at the save mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. There. Shit, where are my keys? Now they're outside. He won't be able to find them.
I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes Chill out. every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Oh, Joyce will love this. Okay. William is saved. Yes, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Now, what did that undo? Is William still alive? Yup. Which means David's not in the picture. I still left and came back, so what is Chloe acting like now? And that never happened. What is that? Oh, okay. That's just that. Right, more photographs we're getting rid of. Oh, she gets her truck. I'm kind of afraid of finding out what's gonna happen. That's a huge thing to undo. Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that what Max the hell? Never Maxine. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? What? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. I'm gonna go. I will see you later. He hooked up with Stella. You're. What the hell happened, man? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed, Chloe? Yeah. I'll bet you she's still a student at Blackwell now. He's the bus driver. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So what about the whole end of the world scenario? Is that still happening in parallel with all this since we've undone all of the like, I mean, we seem to have undone everything, but it's mm. possibly the worst part of this though, is if this is how everything is, I, I don't know. Are we gonna have to go back and undo that change? Are we about to realize that William needs to die? Giant whale carcass? Whale carcass says. Or maybe if they did really well, they moved and now Chloe's no longer even in Arcadia.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Jesus. See, we could spend forever jumping through photographs and returning to old memories in order to try and chase down the perfect solution, you know, the way that you can save everything. You don't let William take the car, and then you discover that years down the road, that had some reaching effect that led to Chloe getting into an accident in her car, and it all spiders out. You can't stop all of them. All right, so let's see. You stole the money. You left the money. Uh, Alright, I'm in the min minority on that one, but that's pretty close to 50-50. Kissed Chloe, everybody, almost everybody did. Uh, sided with Chloe, almost everybody did. Chloe has David's gun, or Frank has David's gun. Huh? Why would Frank have David's gun? I mean, I think... I saw that the gun was an option in her room. Maybe you could take the gun and give it to Frank in exchange for the keys or something. I don't know. Kept Frank's dog from harm. Yeah, everyone did. 6% of the people threw it in the street. Everyone else is like, no, we're not going to hurt the dog. Oh, wow. Okay, Lisa is alive or Lisa is dead. Who is Lisa? I don't remember Lisa. Lisa's alive, Lisa's dead. Um, I, I don't I don't know. It looks like there's a mark on the can or something. I have no idea what that one's related to. Uh, helped one of those exam or did not. Because we helped him do well on it rather than adjusting it later for him. You are on the Vortex Club party list. Um, erased some names from the Vortex Club party list or did not change Vortex Club names. I didn't even see that that was an option. Um, erased the cop's answer phone message, did not erase the cop's message. Jesus, I missed so much stuff. Looks like that was maybe back in a house somewhere. Uh, you helped Alyssa, you did not help Alyssa, I did do that. Did not warn the homeless woman, I didn't see that that was an option. Sorry. Probably the same truck, too. Um, didn't take a photo in the past. I kind of wish I had, if I'd realized that was an option. Oh, it looks like you could even photograph the two of them standing there. And I did leave a mark on the fireplace, which not everybody did. So hopefully that'll come back and help out. Man, chrysalis and out of time. Oof. Oh no, the end of the world party. Episode 4, Dark Room. But that will be for next week. So thank you to anybody who tuned in and watched, and I will hopefully be able to upload these uh, to the YouTube channel soon. I've been recording them while I stream them so that I can do specifically that, and I even edited the last one, but I've not had a chance to upload it. Work's been crazy, and it's kind of thrown my own home life into chaos because I have been working from home for the last week, and getting my network set up to accommodate that has been challenging. So, hopefully we can get back on order with that as well, but at any rate, I'll be back for more Life is Strange next week. See you guys later.